Hello everyone. My name is Colleen and I'm happy that you're here with me today. It is really warm here. We are we live in the Rocky Mountains of British Columbia in Canada and um, we live in a valley that's um, quite well, it's about a mile across I guess high mountains on either side of us and when we get heat it settles into the bottom of the valley and it lingers on for what seems like forever and I know I'm kind of being whiny about it because we don't often get really hot weather but today it's hot and it's predicted it'll be hot like this for, <laughs> for another 10 days today is 36 degrees Celsius which is about 98 degrees Fahrenheit um, so I know that there are others of you that are um, suffering a lot worse than we are, but um, today that's what we're up to. So I was trying to think of something that I could make for dinner that wouldn't um, heat up the entire house and uh, that would be quick and easy. So I'm going to gather up the ingredients that we need to make. So I'm going to pull out the air fryer. I'm really trying to learn to love this air fryer and use it more often. And um, today I am going to use the air fryer and the microwave to make dinner. So in the air fryer, I am going to roast a pork loin and I'm gonna use the microwave to cook some baked potatoes and some broccoli. So I will gather up what I need to get started with the air fryer and the pork loin and then I'll be back right after this. I know it's probably extremely noisy in my house today because not only is the air conditioner running but so is the fan on the air fryer going but hopefully you'll be able to hear me over top of all this racket. So I have one pork tenderloin. It is about a pound. Um, if it was any bigger, if it was like one and a half pounds, I would cook it a little longer. But I am going to cook this in the air fryer for 15 minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pat it dry and then I'm going to just season it up a bit. I'm going to do salt and pepper and I'm not going to be too heavy handed but a bit for sure. What I will be heavy handed with is this Grill, La Grill Clubhouse flavored seasoning. It's, this particular uh, spice is called Smoldering Smoked Applewood, and I'm going to be very heavy handed with it. Um, it does have a bit of spice in it that kind of lingers in the background, and I'm going to coat it fairly generously. And I'm going to do that on all the sides. This pork tenderloin comes out uh, beautifully in the oven. So if you don't want to, to give it a try or you don't have an air fryer, then you could certainly um, pop it into the oven. I'm just trying to avoid the heat today. So that's what I'm up to. These air fryers became really popular a few years ago when it seemed like, maybe it was during COVID when it seemed like everybody needed to have one. And um, we were a little late to the game, but not terrifically. We tried a few things in it, but I don't like a whole lot of stuff on my kitchen counter. So we moved it over to the side counter on the other side of the room. I don't know, once I moved it over there, it was like, we quit using it. So I'm just trying to get back in the habit of it. I have the air fryer uh, working right now on preheating. It preheats at 400 degrees for five minutes, and then we'll get this thing popped in there. So I'm just gonna wash my hands and be right back. There we go, the preheat has completed now. So I'm gonna pull out the pan and I am going to put this tenderloin in there. I'm just going to 
place it in there side to side, however it'll fit. Bend it if you need to. And you can hear it sizzling, I'm sure. So back in it goes. I am going to go to temperature. I'm going to take it back to 400 degrees and I'm going to leave it right on. Eh, maybe I'll go 17 minutes. And start. So now while that cooks away, we will have a look at the other ingredients in this dinner. away in the uh, air fryer and we're going to I'm feeding two tonight just my husband and myself so I'm going to have a bit of broccoli now I think I have enough here in the bowl for the two of us generous amount actually and so I'll set this aside and maybe we'll use it in an omelet tomorrow morning to make sure that we don't waste anything so now I'm because I'm just going to steam it in the microwave I'm just going to give it a quick shake of salt. I'm going to add some water to the bowl. Probably about a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to cover it with a bit of cling film. Now, whatever your favorite kind is, that's what you use. I have to say, there are some things that you should maybe think about spending the extra dollars on. And if I was going to spend an extra dollar on something, something it would be a good name brand tin foil or aluminum foil, or it would be um, a good cling film because, boy, the poor ones are really, really poor. Okay, I'm going to scrub up these potatoes and we're going to get them in the microwave. Now, I've got a couple of potatoes here. They're russets, I've just washed them up. Um, we like them as a baked potato. My husband doesn't care for the skin on, but we found that when the russets are cooked, the skins come off quite easily. And so I'm just gonna poke them on either side so that they have no reason to blow up. And I am going to put them into the microwave on the potato setting. I, don't know if you have a potato setting on yours, but I do on mine. So uh, at the 11 minute mark on the meat, I'm going to put these in the oven. So all of our things are in play right now. The meat's um, only 10 minutes away from coming out and then I'm going to rest in about five minutes. I've got the broccoli ready to go but I won't put it into the microwave until uh, the five minute mark of the meat and I've got the potatoes in there going in. I'm not sure how long they take the microwave figures that all out. It's a wonderful device. Um, I think that a lot of people don't use their microwaves as much as they could and uh, one of my first jobs a long time ago, in 1986, I went to work for a local company called Star Video Rentals, and they also sold all kinds of appliances and microwaves were the new big thing. And so they sent me off to a, a seminar in Calgary, and they uh, 
schooled me in how to be a microwave consultant, someone who can teach other people how to use microwaves, and I learned a lot. So I use my microwave for cooking in frequently, and if you're interested in seeing some of those microwave, uh, microwave dishes, then I'd be happy to demonstrate some of them for you as well. So anyway, we're a little ahead of the game, so I will just tidy up and we'll be back shortly. Now, the clock is down to five minutes there, and I am prepared now to put these broccoli in with the potatoes. I know this won't be a long video because this literally, cooking it this way, doesn't take very long. So, um, you might feel cheated as it won't be nearly as long as they usually are, but I hope not. I hope that um, you will uh, take it as maybe just a learning thing because I don't know if there's a lot of you out there that aren't using your air fryers or not. Um, I know the people who use them regularly and have them on the counter, you, you are using them all the time. So maybe I need to figure out how to reposition it. Anyway, back to the air fryer and the potatoes. This video will um, hopefully show you that you can cook up a really quick dinner on a hot day or any other day without too much fuss, fuss or bother and that it will be delicious. So I'll be back when everything's put together. Now I'm just going to add a little more sour cream to the top of that and grab a big knife. knives everywhere. Looks dangerous here. And I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to start just giving this a cut or two. And it's perfectly cooked. Oh my goodness. I hope you can see it. It's perfectly cooked. And look how juicy it is. So definitely a good way to cook up your pork tenderloin is to put it in the air fryer. So now I'm going to add these little medallions of pork to the dish. And folks, it's a little messy and not at all restaurant looking. but. This is what's for dinner tonight at our house. Uh, pork tenderloin that was roasted in the air fryer, baked potatoes and broccoli that were cooked in the microwave, and some coleslaw that came from our pantry. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this dish and that it will help you also to keep the temperature down in your place. So I hope to see you again soon on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And um, when you subscribe, if you hit the little bell and then you go down to all, then you will be notified anytime one of my videos goes up. See you soon, folks. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.